we're going to take a quick little look at what you need to have in your introduction for your research paper. The first thing you're going to need is a hook, summary of a topic, and then a thesis statement. So some of the basics that you're going to need so the basics you're going to need are uh, is a hook, a strong hook, and please do not use a, que a question and do not use a direct quote. So one thing you can use is an interesting fact or a statement, such as the Pentagon has twice as many bathrooms as are necessary. This is kind of a random fact, so those random facts are always a good way to start. Curiosity without asking a question. So not um, does a qu duck's quack echo, but change it to a duck's quack doesn't echo. So answering your question instead of asking one as your first sentence. You provide a definition of a word that might be pretty meaningful to your topic or your thesis. Kind of an anecdote or a story. S you know, yesterday morning I watched as my older sister left for school. This would be the only place in your research paper that you would have first person. Everything else should be third person aside from your anecdote. You could use imagery, a metaphor, simile, hyperbole. Onomatopoeia always works really well. Um, a student who gazed through my th at, through their reflection on the vending machine window to carefully select the snack this morning. Snickers, chips, Three Musketeers, Skittles, and Pepsi all stared right back. And then you can list, which a little bit of that listing was provided in the previous example, but just listing a bunch of things and then making a statement about them. So if you watch the video on how to mark your research, I was starting an essay on cell phones should be allowed in the classroom. And so some of those um, examples that I've come up with, I've come up with four possible hooks for my essay. The first example I've used is a little bit of imagery. A hazing glow beamed across the faces of the students at Olathe East. And I'm referring to that hazing glow of, the f of your cell phones on your faces. Buzz, 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 a sound that often annoys teachers while they are attempting to educate the youth of America. So using that vibration sound of the phones for onomatopoeia. The third, some teachers may be surprised at the responsibility students have when given a chance to use their cell phones academically. Again, just using a claim or an interesting fact is that students might be able to actually handle the responsibility if given, if it's given to them. And then finally, I chose listing. Cell phones, headphones, iPads, iPods, Kindles, Android, and Apple. Students' lives are in inundated with many electronic devices, and many of these devices will be a part of their everyday adult life. So any of those four would be examples of strong hooks that I could start my essay about cell phones in the classroom. Finally, I'm going to provide a brief summary of my topic. So in the third person, I'm going to tell a brief summary. So I've used the listing, um, I've used my listing hook, if you see in red, and then I've created my um, my thesis at the bottom in purple. So in between those two things, I'm going to sandwich between those two things my summary. Students' lives are inundated with many electronic devices, and many of these devices will be a part of their everyday adult life. As technology continues to grow, education cannot simply stay the same. Educators must embrace the technology that students have already grown to think of as common resources. So that would be just, what is that, two sentences? Um, three sentences of summary in the middle and your hook. And then finally, it would be your thesis. When you're considering your thesis, please make sure that it does answer the overriding question that was um, provided for you in the handout for your research topics. You need to be answering the question and use the subtopics to do that. So make sure you address that in your thesis. Please go ahead and write your introduction at this time and then have your teacher check it.